Are you ready to propel your motion graphics to the next dimension? Well, creating great 3D work can truly overhaul your After Effects projects and allow you to produce cinematic work. And the best part is that it's super easy to do. So let's get started. My philosophy is simple when it comes to these videos. First, we'll go through a basic use of this 3D concept that you can easily implement onto various projects and then we'll build an entire scene that takes the concept to the limit. I'm certainly no Socrates, but why ponder the meaning of existence when you can make your own universe? To make something 3D, you can create any design with the shape tools. However, I'll use the pen tool and draw out a curved line like this for example. When you're happy with your design, whether that's a line, shape, or even text, make it a 3D layer and absolutely set your renderer to Cinema 4D. This will allow you to go into the layer's geometry options and increase the extrusion depth. Right off the bat, we need to shade this or utilize lighting. What I like to do is go to add or animate if you're using text and go to side color. Then make this color darker than your main color and looking much better. Now, since we're using a shape layer and specifically a stroke, we can add trim paths and animate said trim paths to create a line stroke animation. We can even set the cap to a round cap to further the look. And now we're really onto something. Uh, but one thing I would do is duplicate the design and move it around your composition. This will allow us to quickly build out a unique scene. Then we can create a null object and make it 3D and then parent all the design layers to that null. And by using a null object, we can easily rotate our design and even keyframe, say, the Z rotation to create a camera movement, if you will. And now, hopefully, proven as a fairly simple technique, you can make great 3D designs, and obviously, this will work for plenty of other ideas as well. Alright, now that we have the hang of what's possible when utilizing 3D, I want to expand on the topic of creating larger scenes, but first, be sure to get our free motion duck templates for After Effects, which will allow you to produce amazing work in no time. You can easily browse through thousands of templates and update them to fit your project needs. You can get access to the full collection of transitions, motion presets, creative elements, and much more with the links below. Okay, this scene may seem fairly complex, but I promise it's actually fairly simple and very fun to create. So you can start off with any shape that you like, and it can even be a letter for example, but I'll just use a square. We'll follow the same steps and make it 3D by setting the extrusion depth to 200. And if we double check the size of the square and set it to 200, this will give us a perfect box. We're making moves here because our last tutorial was all about circles, this one's all about squares. Okay, what I want to do from here is make sure the anchor point is centered and set the Z anchor point to 100. So when we animate the rotation, the center of gravity will be from the center of the box. But let's go ahead and keyframe animate all the rotation values to give this movement. Now we'll go through the time lapse process of duplicating the boxes and randomly moving them around your scene. Just make sure to adjust the Z position of every duplicate so you can create depth in your scene, which is very important. Then of course, you can offset these layers in your timeline to help vary the rotation. And now up to this point, our scene is very plain and you may have noticed that we did not change the color of the sides. However, that was the intention because we're going to create a light and set it to a parallel light. Then we can easily move this layer over to the right side of our project to help shape the direction of light. If the scene becomes too contrasted for your liking, you can then duplicate the light and move it over to the left side of the project and then lower the light intensity until you're good to go. If you're wondering what different lights can do for your project, uh, you can switch through the options. However, I like the parallel light the best for this project as it spreads the light evenly across your scene. Alrighty, we just have two more steps to consider. First, we can create a camera, and with this camera, we can animate the position and the point of interest with the dolly cursor tool to fly through our scene. And because we adjusted the Z position of every layer, the scene is really coming together. If you want to push the look of your motion graphics, here are a few effects you can apply. Just create an adjustment layer and add the noise effect. We'll set it to 6% and uncheck color noise, but let's go ahead and add the glow effect to help make this cinematic. However, you're gonna have to adjust the glow threshold to actually see the glow, then increase the glow radius to about 200 or so. 
Finally, I would alt click the stopwatch and add wiggle to comma 40 to animate the glow. And for the final effects, you can add posterize and even posterize time to make your scene gritty and give it a stop motion feel. So get out there and always be creating.